short video, I just wanted to share some basic electrical information, which is about resistors, because they're used very commonly, especially in car alarm, the auto security or multiplex motor vehicle systems, electrical systems that have been for decades. It's, it's been around forever. So if you're not really sure, if no one ever really taught you about it, this is a really good uh, generalization of how they work. A film style re resistor, which are probably the most common types that people see. And what this does is this explains the um, math that's involved in creating a resistor and what they all do. So if you take a look at it and read up on it real quick, there's a lot here to be learned. So you get the first, the second, and the third, which are the resistance values and you have your multiplier. And okay, over here you have your tolerance level on the, on the final band, which are signified by colors, which are industry standards, by the way. So for instance, you have black, which is a zero, has no value, then you have your brown, and it works its way up from one through nine. And then you have your multiplier band, which of course just makes it go into the, you know, you have the ohms, you have the K ohms, and all that kind of stuff. This is what determines the amount of multiplication variables in each resistor. For instance, this one here has a red band, it has a purple band, and you have a red band, and then you have uh, a tolerance band. So you have two plus seven multiplier of 100 equals a 2.7 K ohm resistor. So that's basically the math and how this is all worked out. So if you have a bunch of resistors lying around, you don't know what they are. This is basically how it works in all these resistors. Pretty straightforward, right? And again, this one here, most like most resistors that I've ever I use personally have a, a tolerance of five percent. So, for instance, on this application, if you had a twenty-seven hundred ohm resistor with a five percent tolerance, ten percent would be two hundred and seventy. Half of that would be one hundred and thirty-five. So, if you were using this, say, in a in a VAT system in a GM vehicle where it's resistor based, you can go. If the car called for 2849, this would technically be within the range of 5% tolerance because they could get higher or lower depending on whether barometric pressure, all kinds of crazy stuff is, is, is involved in this electrical uh, stuff in theory once you really get into it. But anyway, as a general rule, 5%, this one higher or lower, that's the number right here. So keep that in mind. So if you're using work and it's not exact, keep that in mind. If you're using a, a, a one that's in 5% value, you're, you're safe. Just stay within that range, typically under or below if you're working within a tight range and you'll always be fine. But that's basically how these resistors work out. It's good to know.